Hello and welcome to Ludicrous Loot Games. Today we're going to be teaching you how to make a Skyrim inspired honeymead. Honeymead can be found during the Thieves Guild quest in the Hunting Brew Meadery. First off, a small list of items that you're going to need. You're going to need an airlock and some honey. It doesn't matter what kind of honey you use, but I prefer to use the clear honey. I bought that at my local supermarket, but you can use any kind of honey you like. You need to get some baking yeast, a spoon, some brown sugar or cane sugar, a distillery, you can buy this on Amazon, I'll put a link in the description, a measuring jug, and a list of stuff I forgot to take pictures of. So first things first, if you want to get your distillery pot, put it on your heat source, and then you're going to want to get four litres of water and put that into the distillery pot. Now I'm using filtered water because cleaner water means better mead. Right, once you've got your water in there, I'm going to turn on the heat and make it hot, not boiling just hot. Alright, once your water is heated, you want to turn the heat down to the lowest setting. Give the water a stir and pour in all your honey. Now, I've used four large jars of honey and one small jar of honey. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that. Now that the product is finished and I've tried it, it is extremely sweet. The reason I did this is because the last time it came out and it wasn't very nice, it was a bit sour. So I added more honey to this, thinking that it would be really nice. But I put too much in and it's sickly. There's a fine line between nice tasting and sickening. Now you want to make sure that the temperature stays low and that you stir this in and dissolve all of the honey. You don't want to burn it otherwise it's going to stick to the bottom of the pan and it will ruin it. To get the last bits of honey out of your jar you can just add a little bit of water to your jars, put the lid on, give it a really good shake up. This just gets all of the honey out from inside and you're not going to waste anything. You can open the lid up, pour the last tiny bit of honey in basically got a clean jar after that. No honey wasted. Now I added a quarter bag of cane sugar to this as well however like I said this is a very sweet drink that I've made and uh, you don't have to add sugar. The only reason I added sugar is because the yeast transforms the sugar into alcohol so I wanted it to be more alcoholic. However once you've done this all you need to do is cool it down. I'll put it in a sink filled with ice and water Leave it there until it reaches room temperature. Once it's cooled down to room temperature, take it out of the sink and place it back on the side, ready for the next stage. Give it a good stir and then mix in both of your yeast packets. Once you've given it a good stir, you can put the rubber seal on your distiller, put the lid on and get ready to seal it up. Put the clamps down the lid. Right, you need to grab your airlock and fill it so that it's the same on both sides with water. Connect the airlock to the distiller and 
that's it, it's ready to be stored. Now, you want to try and store it in a basement or in an airing cupboard. It definitely needs to be in a cupboard like this. You want to keep it away from any pests, like rats, mice, bugs. That's why it's important to keep it in an enclosed space. Now you play the waiting game. It normally takes three to four weeks. All you need to do is keep an eye on the airlock and check for bubbles. When the bubbles stop, it's ready to be used. As you're checking on it, try to give it a little bit of a shake up every now and then as well. After that, you're ready to bottle it. As you take it apart, be sure to try and keep it clean. Make sure none of the gunk that has managed to escape gets into your brew. This is a little bit of honey that managed to leak out. Make sure you mop it up so it doesn't get in. So you want to grab your container and your rubber tube and your filter and your funnel. My funnel has a filter in it. If you can't get one of those, try and use a coffee filter. So what you do is you suck the mead up the tube until it reaches almost your lips. Pinch the tube really hard to keep the pressure in there. And then bring the tube down into the funnel and let go. And gravity does the rest. Now, unfortunately, this container was leaking. So, pro tip make sure you check your containers for any leaks before putting your honey mead in. I ended up having to empty this whole thing into separate bottles because I didn't check. Yeah. And I also wasted some honey mead. I don't know if you can see it on the uh, on the cloth there, but it's quite damp. Also made a mess. Now, when doing this by yourself, it's kind of difficult to use the funnel and filter as well. So it's better if you can get a second pair of hands to help you out of this part, because I had to skip the funnel and filter and just go straight into the bowl. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just cleaner if you use the filter. Well, the only thing left to do now, once you finish bottling, is to invite some friends over and enjoy yourself. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savoured. By the eight. What? What's in this? Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, be sure to hit the like and share buttons. And for more ludicrous content, check out our channel. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. <laughs>